Hey, what's going on? Today I'm gonna to share one of my favorite new hacks that I've been using at the gym. And this is a hack you can use to grow more muscle in less time using less weight. And I'm gonna give you a demo as well. But in addition to that, there's so many other benefits. Doing this technique, it increases muscle hypertrophy. So that means you're growing new muscle fibers, you're building more muscle, getting bigger muscles. It increases BDNF. BDNF is brain-derived neurotrophic factor. That encourages the growth of new neurons. It also protects your other neurons. It's kind of like fertilizer for your brain neurons. It helps you be smarter, have a healthier, higher functioning brain. It also improves and it increases vasculature. It increases something called VEGF, which, which is vascular endothelial growth factor. This encourages the growth of new blood vessels and capillaries, which also improves microcirculation. So I've talked about microcirculation in other videos, but you need microcirculation to deliver nutrients to your cells, to deliver oxygen to your cells so they can make more energy, and also to remove metabolic waste from your cells to keep them health healthy. This also increases growth hormone and IGF-1, which is ins insulin-like growth factor. That's something else you need to grow muscle and to repair damaged tissue. It also uh, decreases your risk for Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, and stroke. And it decreases your risk of injury because you are lifting lower weights. Now, I used to be really into lifting heavy weight at the gym and there was a little bit of vanity that went went with that. There was a point of pride of being able to lift heavy weight at the gym. And I got really great strength, uh, strength gains. And in fact, I've been able to increase my strength to get stronger than I've ever been, even than when I was in my 20s. I started working out in college, actually in my late teens. I think it was like 19 or 20 when I started working out. But in my mid to late 40s, I'm stronger now than I was in my 20s, working out a lot less. And using this new hack that I've been doing, I've actually cut my workout down. You know, to be kind of honest, I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to the gym. I do enjoy working out, but I wanna be there for as little time as possible. So back in my 20s, I was spending about an hour per workout, three days a week in the gym, over the years, I've been refining that, and more recently, I, uh, I got my workouts down to about 30 minutes, two days a week, and then starting about six months ago using this new technique, my workouts are now about 20 minutes. So I'm doing 20 minutes, two days a week. I've been able to maintain my, my muscle mass, and I, uh, my, my workouts are, are shorter, just, just 20 minutes. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration in a minute, but at first when I first started doing this, because you do use lower weights, I felt kind of goofy because like I said, I prided myself in lifting heavier weights at the gym, but I'm getting a little bit older. I'm gonna be 49 soon. And after lifting heavy weights, I was really feeling the wear and tear on my joints. Not only that, I'm always bumping into guys at the gym, like, hey, I haven't seen, seen you in a while. Where have you been? And they'd be like, yeah, I, I hurt my shoulder. and. You can, you can injure yourself lifting heavy weight. If you're smart about it, you can avoid injury. But as I get older, it's more and more appealing to me to avoid injury. And once I started doing this new technique, my joint pain went away. I didn't have any more joint pain. And like I said, I've been able to maintain my, my muscle mass. So what's this technique I'm talking about? It's blood flow restriction. And this has been around about 50 years. It was invented by the Japanese. And uh, it's really become more mainstream. A lot of professional athletes are using it, like in the NFL, athletes uh, training for the Olympics. Uh, but it is really becoming more and more popular because it's so effective. And anybody can do it. It's actually beneficial for children to do it, all the way up to older adults. So. Uh, what it is, is you've got these straps right here, and you just put these straps around your arms. And what this does, this is gonna reduce the blood flow to my muscles. So I'm essentially gonna starve my muscles 
um, of oxygen and, and other nutrients, glucose and things like that, to keep them keep them working. And that's what in, in um, that's what uh, increases the muscle hypertrophy. Now I've got this pump here, and there's a pressure gauge on it, so I can uh, pump it up to whatever pressure I want. So I'm going to pump it up to uh, let's see, 300 psi. So I'm going to do that for each of my uh, each of my arms, and I also have some bigger ones for my legs as well. So I'm just going to do a demo doing curls. And by the way, I don't normally do curls. My my normal workout in the gym is on Mondays. I do um, actually Wednesdays. I do squats and I do bench press, and then on Fridays I do back and shoulders. And that's all I do. I do uh, three sets. And what you do with this is you do you do higher reps and uh, and lower weight. So I've got some 10 pound uh, dumbbells here, and I'm going to crank out 30 uh, 30 reps right now. So. So that's one set. I just did 30 reps, and when I do this, I'll rest 30 to 40 seconds in between. So for something like this, like for my back and for bench, I'll do 30 seconds. When I do squats, I'll do 30 seconds after the first set, but then the second set, I, I need to do 40 because it really just completely kicks my butt. But um, I got a really good pump, and uh, you know, you can see my my muscles looking a little bit bigger. But um, the first set's pretty easy, but then you go to do the second set, it really starts to burn. So I think that's been about 30 seconds. I'm gonna crank out another quick set here. Fifteen really starting to burn. Thirty, all right. So it's definitely starting to, to burn now. I'm going to wait about 30 seconds and then I'm going to crank out one more set and that's it. I'm done with my buys and like I said I don't normally do buys. I normally just do, uh, I do back and when I do back my buys are getting a workout as well or, or my biceps. So uh, it's also you get, a, you get a bit of a cardio workout too because you are doing higher reps so it does definitely get you huffing and puffing a little. But um, it's been it's been really a real game changer for me in that a it's uh, just really decreased the time I have to spend in the gym because I actually I'm not crazy about going to the gym and B I don't have to deal with the joint pain that I used to have so I think that's been about 30 seconds and do my final set Now it's really starting to burn. All right, and that's it, I'm, I'm all done. So uh, got a pretty good pump, take these off, we deflate them. But um, I don't know, not bad. So, If you like lifting weights, but you're starting to feel the effects of, of aging, feeling joint pain, this is something you may want to look at. You can use these for walking. These you can actually use in the water too, so you can use them with swimming. I've never used it for swimming, but it's something that at some point I may check out. But there's many different uses for these. If you want to check these out, I'll put a link below. It is an affiliate link, so full disclosure. I do get a small commission if you end up buying these, but um, they're definitely worth checking out. If you have any questions, let me know. A little out of breath, and uh, I'll see you soon.